Hey guys, welcome to Beer Tour in Seoul. My name is Jonathan, and today I will be looking at the First Word Lager. The First Word Lager is Korean beer that's only available at Mini Stop in South Korea. It's not much around, it's very rare. Well, not very rare, but slightly rare. So if you look at the package here, the label design, so it's the ratio is about you know, 8 to 2, navy blue, and gold color, and with the emphasis of the first, that's a very simple design. The one thing that needs to be talked about about this beer is that it was it has been awarded year 2020, the alcoholic beverage, especially in craft beer and lacquer. They have been awarded the first place, so it, it was last year. And the alcohol is 4.5%, and let's take a look at its size. This moment that sounds of relax once opening a can. So cool. So here's the first word lager by Y Brewery, South Korea. The color is gold. And that sweetness from the malt. Can just smell it off from the top of the liquid. Sweetness and that plain flavors from the malts has been emphasized. It's very, very delightful to smell from the top of the liquid uh, for the taste. Plain malt and as for a lager, it sure has been emphasized with the carbonation and that refreshingness and the taste is very clean. But in contrast, as for a lager style, uh, lager style, I feel that this first wort Korean beer by Wybury has a slightly more of a body than that regular lagers out there. So based on the explanation provided by the D brewery, the Y brewery, this first wort lager uses that first wort that has came off from the malt, having processed for uh, minutes and minutes under a specific temperature, and it's the idea that they use that first wort to brew this nice beer. Normally, the wort would go for twice and as long as three times to make that fantastic wort to create the mass peak massive production of the lagers but this puts an idea of just using the first wort and they would put the differences as to emphasize their characteristic of the outstanding characteristic of their own beer if were to compare that same method the processing brewing process method would be the japanese kirin ichiban shibori uh, they they use the first wort to brew their own beer as well as as same as this first wort by the y brewery but of course, that it uh, that Kirin Ichiban Shibori and that and this first wort have a different taste, but only the same process of the brewing method. So other than that, using the first wort, they've also focused on eliminating that unnecessary flavors that could be brought up while brewing a beer, especially when you're putting a hop or or malt. There's that unpleasant scent or presence that we just can't not well not normal people can catch, but the Y Brewery first port lager they focus to eliminate those unnecessary smells so that they can so that the consumers like me could enjoy the lager in the premium style. So the name of their brewery, Y Brewery. So that Y is exactly the word why, the reasoning why. And this brewery established by the one of the popular pub chain named Bronx. Bronx was established in year 2014 and they have successfully expanded their chain stores of uh, chain pops uh, about 50 chain pops all over the nation and as to proceed on their success they have made their own brewery under the name of Y Brewery in year, in year 2019. Beautiful beer like this, the first word lager and there's a snowflake and a beer like staccato on the limited amount are brewed at this brewery and on year 2020 as I mentioned in the first beginning of this video they released this amazing delicious first word lager through a mini stop. Mini stop is a convenience store and there's not a lot quite rare to get a hands in one of these so there's a long history behind the mini stop convenience
convenience store. Um, they were officially, initially, uh, a Japanese corporate-owned company, the convenience stores. But as the time passed now, Korean companies had started buying the portions of the stocks of this mini stop convenience store and has become the Korean convenience store after all. And there is about 2,400 uh, convenience stores under the name mini stop is available in South Korea. And this first word beer by Y Brewery is available only at the mini stop. And that 2,400 stores only available in South Korea is such a low amount of stores in South Korea. There's a lot of convenience sources like CU or GS25 or 7-Eleven and so on. If you have been in Korea, you will be amazed how many convenience stores are so close to each other. You walk in the convenience store and walk out and you walk, you take a step about 30 to 40 steps and you will see another convenience store right after. That's how close they are each other from a store to store and that number 2400 of mini stop available in South Korea is such a low number. That's why this beer is hard to find, especially if you live in, in a specific region in South Korea that you only see the major convenience stores like CU or GS25, you will not be able to get enhanced in one of these. So let's taste it again. I love how these uh, the lagers, um, you know those massive products, massive production lagers like Budweiser's, Budweiser's is such a nice beer. But uh, there's in Korean lagers like Kas or Terra Height. You know they they focused on the carbonation and refreshingness, and it's very cheap to get in hands off and just easy to drink type of beer, refreshing. Yes. But I, what I love about this first word lager library is that as soon as you take the glass on your hand and you put so close to your mouth and you. You get to smell that sweetness, that malt plain characteristic of that kind of nutty uh, flavors, and that you know, that enjoyable moment that you can only feel from a scent of a malt. And at the same time, when you take a first sip, since it's a lager, there is definitely refreshingness, clean taste. That multi emphasized emphasis on this lager is something that I really enjoy, and I think it's definitely a one of the one of the top ten lists of my own choice of a green lager to have in South Korea. So overall, the score that I would give to the first malt, first wort by Library would be. 4.5 out of 5. The reason behind is it is because the taste, the end taste, first initial taste from the very starting end point of my palate to the torsi end palate is very clean, smooth, and there's a carbonation definitely because lager is a trend to have net to never forget refreshingness and carbonation. There's that the enjoyable moment there with that. And the one thing that I really like about this is that the idea of using that first word to brew this first word lager by Y Brewery. And there I think there is a definitely a differences between using the first word and word that has been made in process twice and third time. I think this emphasis on that malt has brought that plain characteristic of the enjoyable moment from the malt has been clearly emphasized and I can definitely enjoy that distinctive characteristics from the malt as a lager. And that's something that I'm definitely looking for when I'm drinking a beer. That one characteristic that stands out amongst hundreds and thousands and millions of different source of beers out there in the world, that is a definitely a good beer to go. This is the basic of basic, that's a standard level, that's something that we should never forget to evolve. But yeah, one characteristic emphasized as a perfect thing to go for a beer relief. So, good beer, and I would definitely recommend this. It's the next level of a lager. I think yeah, this is a very enjoyable beer, and I would have this over many other lagers that are out there and available in South Korea. I will name it, but yeah, it's 4.5. It's one of the highest score that I gave to all the reviewed beer available in South Korea. You can trust on me on this. You can trust me on this. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for watching my video again. This beer tour in Seoul. Jonathan and please don't forget subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you next time and I will come back with a whole lot interesting South Korean beer through YouTube.